Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. So, Sarah Bloom is married to Sydney. The wedding is over, a happy couple are on their honeymoon, and Mama and Papa are reminiscing in the living room. Jack, hmm? pull off my shoes. Uh, wait till I pull off mine. Mine feet hurt, boys. Is that so? My feet hurt worse than five minutes, and yours hurt all evening. <laughs> Jake, uh, you shouldn't have drank so much. I shouldn't, huh? <laughs> it was my daughter's wedding, wasn't it? Well, uh, you'll uh, have a couple of years vacation. Yeah. What do you mean, a couple of years? Well, in a couple more years, yet we'll be getting married, and you can make a fool of yourself again. Yeah. Did I make a fool of myself? You did your best. Is that so? Is that so? Every minute of the time, I knew exactly what I was doing. Every minute? <laughs> Every minute, yeah. <laughs> Every minute. Say, I'm no schoolboy. No. Then why was you singing? Why? Well... I like to sing. <laughs> Jake, you are a pants manufacturer, not a crooner. But who can I hurt with one little song? <laughs> with your voice, even a little song is a lot of singing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Say, you want to talk about me? <laughs> What's the matter with some of your relatives? Mm, well, they didn't sing. They didn't sing? How could they sing with their mouths full? Eating and drinking, eating and drinking well, and drinking and eating. At least with eating, you don't make a noise like with singing. Yeah. Your relatives make worse noises. Jake... Wasn't everything beautiful? You know, it was just like a moving picture. Yeah. Yeah, Mama. Everything. Everything was beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, not because she was our daughter, but never in my life did I see such a beautiful bride. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was so happy. Yeah, Mama. You were so happy. You cried for 20 minutes. Sure. I never enjoyed myself so much in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Sidney look nice, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sidney's a smart boy. Oh, I should say he is. <laughs> yes, and a good memory, too. You know something, Mama? Mm. All afternoon, Sam and I were trying to think how much we quoted Moscovitz Brothers and O'Brien for whipcord pants, and we couldn't even think of it. <laughs> Tonight, I asked Sidney, and he told me just like that. In the middle of his wedding, you ask him about whipcord pants. Say, weddings or no weddings, prices got to be remembered. Yeah, prices. Where did your uncle I get in his suit? Uncle, uh, uh, there? <laughs> How should I know, Mama? He bought it. He bought it with what? Cigarette coupons? He bought it. I know he bought it, but where did he get the money? You know, Jake, if all the rivers was full from $20 gold pieces, your uncle I couldn't swim. How do I know where he got the money? Uh, you gave it to him. Did I say I gave it to him? No, I said you gave it to him. All right, so I gave it to him. What's $100? You gave Uncle Ike $100. You gave Morris your new suit, your dress full suit that you just had tailored up. Or rather, he cut the vest. All right, all right, let him have it. Come on, Mama, come on, let's go to bed. Already it's one o'clock. No, I'm not sleepy. You're not sleepy, so you'll get sleepy. No. Hm. Wasn't the presents beautiful? Um, she could open our silver vest, though. You know, Mama, everything wasn't sterling. Your sister sent plate and... My to... sister's a poor woman. Yeah, but still, she should send sterling. Now, if it was my sister... If it was your sister, she'd have borrowed the money from you and sent solid gold. Besides spoiling, she's got enough. Twenty-one cake knives she's got. Even if she's careless, that's enough. Hmm. 
Mama, Arthur Schwartz said it was very dangerous to keep so much valuable presents in the house. Sure, sure. Arthur Schwartz would say that. Why? Arthur Schwartz just went in the insurance business. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, Mama, mm -hmm. we got two pretty daughters. Yeah, they look pretty, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if I listened to you, she wouldn't look so pretty. Is that so? What have I got to do with Yetta's looking pretty? You said the dress was too much money. Sure it was too much money. It was Sarah's wedding. Yet they shouldn't be the best dress. Sure, she should. The very best. For what reason? Sarah's already caught herself a felon. No, no. Well? Jake, don't you understand? We got to dress Yetta up so she'll get a fella too. When you're sending out samples, they got to look the very best. Nah, don't you worry about Yetta. It'll be years. Yeah. <laughs> the musicians played beautiful. Yeah, they ate beautiful too. You know, Jake, I remember from the old country. Musicians is always hungry. Mama, the house looks so elegant. It shows you what a few flowers will do. Some of the furniture look just like new. <laughs> Some of the furniture was new. Did you buy? Sure, I bought. What did you buy? A couple of pieces here and there, but nothing. Mama, what do you call nothing? A couple of little things. Tell me, Becky, tell me, what did you buy? Wouldn't you rather wait till the first of the month and feel bad then? There's no use aggravating yourself twice, now and then again on the first of the month. Becky, tell me exactly. Don't leave anything out. All right. A new carpet. How much? A bargain. What do you call a bargain? Reduced. Reduced to what? Reduced to half. Do I have to ask you in Yiddish? How much was it? $275. $275? For people to walk around on? It'll last for 20 years. $275. Anything else? Well, I wasn't going to buy anything else, but when we rolled down the new carpet, the sofa looked so shabby, so I got a new sofa, too. But that was a Matsya. What kind of a Matsya? No, no, no. Don't tell me reduced. Tell me the exact price. $165 for the sofa and the chair. The chair? What chair? There had to be a chair to match. That was only $70. And then we put the little table in back from the What sofa. little table? Jake, you didn't notice it. It's genuine veneer with a top made out from marble. That was only $45. But the lamp on no, top... No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't tell me. Don't tell me till the first of the month. <laughs> I'm a sick man. You see? Yeah. Maybe you're a little hungry. You know, I could stand something, too. I hardly had a bite. Well, I didn't eat much myself. Your relatives, nobody could push away from the food. Say, your relatives wasn't reducing. Let's go in the kitchen and see what's left. All right. Eh? Hey, Mama, maybe you can find me a leg of chicken, mm -hmm. hmm? The chicken's all gone. Would you like angel cake? Angel? No, no angel cake. Uh, corned beef. No, no corned beef. But we got olives. Olives is no eating. Sure, olives is eating. What do you think you do with them? <sighs> maybe he's left a little piece of salami. No, the salami they ate. Uh, here's plenty parsley. Parsley I don't eat. What am I, a cow? Wait a minute, I remember now. I knew you'd be hungry and I put away two turkey wings in the icebox. You look for them. All right, I'll look for them. No, Mommy, you look for them. I can't bend down in my corset, huh? Oh, all right, I'll look for them. Mama, I don't see them. You don't see them? Uh, let me look. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uncle Ike's been in the icebox. Uh, all right. Give me a couple of those cakes. And a pickle, too. Jake, you'll be sick. So I'll be sick. Uh, uh, where's Yetta? Yetta went out with the boys and girls. A bunch of cars followed Sydney and Sarah. What for? I don't know. It's some kind of a joke. Mm. Give me another pickle. Uh, yeah, and another cake, too. Jake, at one o'clock in the morning? What's the difference? One o'clock, one is smart. I got insomnia anyhow. Well, don't lose any sleep worrying about it. Hell, Yetta should be in soon. Mm -hmm. She'll be here, don't worry. Uh, Yetta, is that you? Yeah, hello. Oh, boy. Was that a wedding or was that a wedding? <laughs> Everything went off good. Well again. What is well again? Oh, it's a made-up word. Uh, you never let me make up my own voice. Oh, it was wonderful. Did you see Uncle Morris? Never mind about Uncle Morris. Yes, so you'll <laughs> tell Mama. <laughs> oh, it wasn't anything. He was just turning corners. Anybody can turn corners. That's no sign. Yeah, but the corners weren't there. <laughs> and did you see him when he took off his coat? What did he take off his coat for? To show where his vest was cutting back. Not his vest. Papa's vest. It's his vest. I gave it to him. Well, I'll say this. Everybody had a swell time. And didn't they look swell, too? Hmm. Did you see Boy de Rosine? All over the world I've looked at dresses, but such a dress I've never seen. Just where it should be, it wasn't. And where it didn't belong at all, there was too much good. Oi, and the man she brought with her. <laughs> he acted just like a bozo. Oh, that's her cousin from Washington. He's a dentist. Mm, I'll bet he's a good dentist. You get one good look at him, and your teeth get scared, and they fall out by themselves. <laughs> he's no lily, that's a sure thing. Well, he's still better looking than Emmanuel Fishpen. He was bad enough when he was bald-headed. But now that he got himself a coupe... You mean a toupee? I mean a wig. And then later on, when he disappeared with Papa for a few minutes, 
He came back and he had it over one ear like an earring. <laughs> oh, and his neck was so thin with an Adam's apple. Oh, who do you think was the prettiest girl there? Well, uh, Minnie Clyde. Sure, oh. sure, Minnie Clyde. <laughs> she was making with you eyes all evening. Mommy, you're talking foolishness. Yes, well, she liked you, I know. Is that so? How do you know her? She said she liked your singing, and anybody that likes your singing, Jay. Well, Father, the singer, you yeah, certainly Yeah, when are. you hear Papa sing, you know what a beautiful thing silence is. Yeah, there were some nice-looking boys here, too. Nice-looking boys and well-behaved. Isidore Berkovich is very, very nice. Isidore Berkovich. <laughs> he makes me sick. He's too sweet. I was so surprised to see Mrs. Fink here. Why? Well, I thought you and she had a fight. Well, we made up. What's the use of being mad at Mrs. Fink? Does she know what she's doing? But you said yourself she bragged something terrible. Let her brag, it don't cost nothing. Besides, I know just how to figure her out. If she says ten, it's one. If she says a thousand, it's four. If you remember that, you can believe every word she says. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Poor Mrs. Fink. How can you say poor Mrs. Fink? Monroe Fink is worth maybe at the very least a million dollars. A million bucks? Gee, I wish we had that. Yeah, I wish it too. You could trade places with him. Well, Mama, I would like to have a million dollars. You don't need it. Three meals a day is all anybody can eat. You got three meals. One suit of clothes is all anybody can wear. You got more than one suit. Two nice daughters out of two nice daughters you got. One wife is enough for any man and you got me. So you see, everything Monroe Fink has got, more than you have got. He's extra. He don't need it and he can't use it. Besides, all his money can't buy for Mrs. Fink a new disposition. It can't buy for his daughter's new faces. And it can't buy for Monroe a good reputation. Well, no, one thing I got more than he's got. What's that? Bills. I got more bills than he'll ever have. So you'll pay them. With what? Let them bury. They'll know you'll pay them. That's the only reason you got bills. That's one thing about this world that I don't like. Poor people, they need credit, can't get it. And rich people who can afford to pay for things like you or Monroe think, they get plenty credit. Sure, I'll pay them. Yeah. Well, let's go to bed. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired, too. Why, it'll take me two years to get over the excitement of the wedding. Mm, it'll take me three years to pay the bills. Well, thank goodness we won't have another day like this for a long time. Not that I didn't enjoy it, but too much is too much. But too much is even more than that. Oh, well, come on, let's go to bed. Well, folks, you might just as well hear the news now. News? What news? I'm engaged. Thank <laughs> you.